Look at this. Just look at this. 11 week old Seaver stealing hearts all over the tri state with his adorable looks and antics. The Black Labrador Retriever is the second service dog to be sponsored and raised by the New York Mets in partnership with America's Vet Dogs. Seaver is here with us today, joining him to tell us all about the ultimate mission are John Miller, President and CEO of America's Vet Dogs, Jane Sun, the co head of Amazing Mets Foundation and Community Engagement for the Mets, and Tom Rubing, CV, uh, CV Handler, nice to have you all here. All right, who wants to tell me about this wonderful program? So the Mets and the Amazing Mets Foundation are now sponsoring their second dog here with America's Vet Dogs, which helps spread awareness and volunteerism for our organization. He'll grow up with the team over the course of the next year and be at City Field at batting practice in the stands, and it'll provide great socialization for him. The Amazing Mets Foundations really are pioneers here, being the first team in MLB uh, to do this, and uh, we're very grateful for their partnership. Yeah, Jane, how does this work exactly? Yeah, so I mean, do the, the Mets players take the dog home? <laughs> and play with that, or, like, how does that work? I'm sure they'd like to, but they don't get to take the dog home because okay. we've got Tom here that's going to be um, raising him as a volunteer puppy raiser. But we were so excited for this opportunity to sponsor this dog um, yes. and mm. provide grant funding from the Amazing Mets Foundation. Um, Alex Cohen, the president of the foundation, the owner of the Mets, she's a huge dog lover, animal lover. And so when we brought this opportunity to her to fund this grant, she was like, yeah. why wouldn't we do this? No Tom, brainer. You got to tell me, yeah. since you're handling this dog, it's this is not cheap. It's like, what, $50,000 a year to get the dog fully trained and given to a vet? Yeah, uh, I'm a volunteer puppy raiser, yes. so the dollar amounts are, uh, are you know, 50000 plus. This is going uh, free the, to vets. The, the overall, yeah. Uh, at no charge to uh, vets with disabilities mm -hmm. or first responders. Mm -hmm. Respondents okay. with disabilities. Uh, my wife and I are volunteers. Uh, and Tell us about Seaver's personality too. Oh, he, he's he, <laughs> he's great. He, he, you already saw his eyes and the yeah. tilt yeah. to the head that he that he's got. Leave Seaver, it. there's no there's leave no dirt for you today. Leave it. <laughs> but um, we get the pups at eight weeks old and we raise them until they're about That's 14 amazing. to 18 months, and we give them back to the foundation where the. Uh, formal training yeah. occurs. Mm -hmm. So I tell people we take them through high school and then we send them off to college. That's going to be hard. Um, John, is, and you is. named the dog after one of the greatest Mets ever, Tom yes. Seaver. Okay, how did you choose him? I mean, because you got a great roster. Yeah, so it was the Mets fans who uh, voted. There was yeah. a contest on Twitter at Mets Vet Dog and uh, on the Mets account as well. And tremendous. It was a landslide. I think it was, you know, Seaver was the winner <clears throat> from the very beginning. Oh, oh, that's boy. so awesome. Jane, how quickly is he going to be placed with, with a vet after he completes his training? I, well, I think after they finish with Tom and Deb, they yeah. will then go to the formal training. Mm -hmm. um, so Shay, who was our first Shay. vet dog, is in that program now. We're hoping yeah. to place... Um, him That's with amazing. somebody at the end of the in, at the yeah, end of our so season. The first dog will have a veteran uh, in about three months, and uh, Seaver here will be about a year and a half out. And okay. so, does Seaver come to the games? Like, can we see him at yeah. the games? Yeah. Uh, so Seaver lives 24/7 with my wife and I. Yes. Uh, we bring him into City Field several times a week, usually about That's every other amazing. home game. We also do a lot of events with the Amazing Mets Foundation, which mm -hmm. does a great job with uh, uh, veterans and uh, uh, facilities, et cetera. So, He's ready to go. Uh, I we, we, we all, a, does he know that, any tricks or anything, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> no, his only trick right now is he likes the little white spots on the floor that seem to, <laughs> it, that, that seem to intrigue him. So. Are we allowed to hold him? Sure. Oh. Sure. Can can, Steve, can you come here real fast? Oh my, I know I'm a cat person, but they am a dog person. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are the cutest. Aww. Hi. Hi. Uh, you got very sharp Hi. teeth, so be careful. So, oh, yeah. Good boy. So where did you find Seaver? The... So, Okay. So we breed the dogs at uh, in our headquarters in Smithtown. So we breed about 300 or 400 dogs a year and ultimately you know, work through the cycle to uh, have the dogs raised, trained, and placed. And you know, the Mets are providing a great what we call socialization opportunity mm -hmm. you know, at, the, at the field. And you know, um, we actually had Shea at spring training as well. You know? So Aww. the amazing Mets Foundation really have been terrific. The Cohen Good family, boy. all the players, you know, really first class. So, Jane, yeah. what, does the, what does SIVA have to be ready for? I mean, like, what do you do? in the next year so when a vet gets Seaver <laughs> he's trained to do I think, I mean, for, for Seaver coming to City Field and socializing is the big thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Crowds, working with different personalities, people. Um, 
the different sights, yeah. the sounds, the smells, yeah. the interactions with the crowd. You, yeah. You'll see at the games, he'll have a crowd. He'll have like a little paparazzi yes. following him. Obviously, Bianca's <laughs> yeah. on the floor with him. Oh, boy. Good Come boy. on. Come on. I know. Get, sweet. Get, come here, Caesar. Tommy's very good at laying down right now. Yeah. yeah. The, the floor has helped that as well. <laughs> I have to ask, well, what is the reaction like when you um, kind of partner with these vets who, who need a companion like this? What do you get from that out of that? You know, it's a life-changing experience. You know, all the veterans we work with um, talk about, sure. um, and it's almost an instant connection when they're yeah. paired about getting their personalities back, getting their life back, mm. uh, families getting their, you know, father or mother back. It really makes, Good it's boy. a life-changing yes. uh, move to get yeah. a service dog. Good boy. And you could yes. see that Seaver would bring Good so boy. much joy in somebody's life. Seaver uh, is going to be great. He's going to be a star. Yes. Um, how, how can we support? So you go to America's Vet Dogs, so vetdogs.org is our website. Uh, we're always looking for people who need a service dog, so apply. We're always looking for volunteers, and we're always looking for donors, because as Tom mentioned, we don't charge. Everything we do is free. Right. Are you guys uh, accepting any cats? Uh, no cats. No. <laughs> you and your cats. Oh, she right. taught her cat how to go potty on the, the toilet. toilet. We might have a job for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Seaver, are you ready to go pee pee on the toilet? <laughs> like, I'm not All right. Down. We got to go. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you oh, for, for what you do for our vets. Gosh. And today is Flag Day. Yes. So yeah. beautiful time to talk about it. Tom Rubing, Jane Sun, and John Miller. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. You. Seaver, you got to bring the Mets some good luck. Come on. The Subway yeah. Series. Let's I go, know. Seaver. Mike, and we need some good weather, too. <laughs> I know. I know.